And we're back, 2019 Saturn Tournament. It is our third game of our triple header opening night here. We are live at the Hafter Hawks Nest in Lawrence, New York. Jason Aaron here with Ari Witkus. And for Sox, Jason Meyer along with the Hafter AV squad. And uh, it has been a heck of a night of basketball so far. Ari. Yes. This, by the way, the gym has really cleared out for this game. This I was gonna, actually, I was gonna say, but you know who's? Look at the top row, right in the middle there, Coach Stein. Yes, always. Oh, that's what you get paid the big bucks for. But by the way, by the way, did you just see Leroy hit yeah, that? Yeah, I did, shot? and he just acted like it was nothing. It, uh, and I mean, it was on camera. So by the way, go this, back and watch it later. Of the night, this is the game I was looking most forward to. This is a. Great I mean, this is up. yeah. This is listen. Heschel is the uh, primitive favorite. Uh, maybe well, my favorite, two, right? My favorite. Uh, definitely the one or two team here at the tournament. Well, wait, we have Heschel as I have him as the two, the two number two ranked team, and JEC as the fifth. Projected to win, though. Yes, I do. Now, project JEC is an interesting win. thing. We've been talking about JEC because they're um, twin towers of terror, the uh, Moshe and Aaron Heller twins. We don't know if one of them. No, are they are. Or they not. are. It's confirmed. They're playing. Both playing. Coach Borenstein. They are playing. And by the way, I believe uh, number forty-two is uh, which Heller is that? That's Moshe Heller. He is. I've seen we've seen him play in this tournament and I've seen Three him play. Years now. Yeah, he is an unbelievable. He's quick like how Jackie Haber, Pashari Torres quick. This kid is Ari, quick. Ari, I want it ball. on the record. I think that what? JC's gonna win this game. Well, has, has really? well JC big, comes in first boys. upset first upset of the tournament. It's uh, yeah, but by the way, as I said, they played each other twice this season. They've each won in their home court. Right now they're on neither home and court. And by the way, you laugh it up. You know, we talk about these quarters, winning these quarters. I mean, a game like this where JC's a good team, let's say they lose, right? Because they're the underdog here and they, they could lose. But what if they could steal a quarter or two? Because two and one, you might need to win by points to get into the Correct. to the first Well, tier. let's quickly talk about the starters. We got for the, the Heller boys, Moshe and Aaron Heller, forty two and forty one. We got thirty three is Goldberg. That is uh, ba, 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 Jake Goldberg. Number 35 is Hillel Glick. And number uh, three is Yara Kimmel. By the way, in your books, number 11 is Winters, not 13, as the coach told me. So they're in for the starters, again, Heschel, no names on the jerseys. 23 is Linda Maum. Three is Abed, Jesse the Body Abed, or Jesse Girls Abed. Number two is one of the Sutton twins, although they're not twins, Charles Sutton. And number five is Jake Bohr. And number one is Ricky Sutton. So these kids have all played. This is at least their second or third. So Ari, quarter. are you telling me I have to make a correction yes. on a number? Winters is number eleven, not thirteen. And there it is, Heller in the open court. He is quick. He is good. He passes over to Glick. Glick puts the ball down. Should have gone right up, but ooh, heavy hard fall. Hope everyone comes up okay. They do. It's going to be two foul shots for Glick, which you can put up on your scoreboard. That is number thirty-five. He stands in at six foot two. Although I don't see the two in the six. Oh, no, it's a side out, so you don't have to worry about putting up his uh, his name. Wasn't that great? We had a nice interview with Muscles Mandel. That was phenomenal. That was great. He got a player of the game. Had Here's a steal by Sutton. Sutton looking over to his compadre, Sutton, and there it is. Lindemann, the tallest player in the tournament, and he gets rejected. And here it is, Heller in the open court. They both play quick, these two teams. Moshe Heller with the ball, finds the kick to Glick. Ooh, the kick to Glick, back to Heller, back to Goldberg. Goldberg to Glick, takes in strong. Hangs in the air, nicely done. Hillel Glick with the finish. Quick 2-0 lead for the JEC Thunder. Here it is. Sutton with the ball, gets it to Lindenbaum. Lindenbaum back. I confused Borer in the other Sutton, so let me just get that in my mind correct. Number one is Ricky Sutton. I remember from last year. The, uh, they the kind of look alike, right? No, the Heller twins. I think the dad nice was in the finish. crowd recording the game the whole yes. time. And he's, he's back there. Yeah. He doesn't trust our live stream. Hafterlive.com. You know, if you got two kids playing, maybe you do record. If you like when you're Moshe on our own, right? Four socks. If they were ever playing together, you know, that Which would they be. Wouldn't be. I mean, well, I don't, Zachary He's technically been hasn't graduated. He records every game for years already. Yeah. He, he really does. It's amazing. He is dedicated. What are you going to do when they graduate? Maybe he'll just record, record them going YU to Israel. Games. I don't know if they're YU players, but. As uh, no, not on the foul. I mean, not on the shooting. It's got to be shooting, right? Quickly, 2-2. Two, two. Heschel rocking their old school jerseys. No names. It's all about the Heschel heat on the front of the jersey. Three is Abed. 23, Lindenbaum. Five is Bohr. One is Sutton. Two is Sutton. We got two Suttons. One wears one, wears, one wears two. And they're not related. As the, the foul shot goes in, Moshe, uh, is that Aaron? That is Aaron. Aaron. A comes before M, and that is why he wears 41. 
Aaron Hill's second foul shot is good for two. Again, JET is uh, coming on. They have like a four or five game win streak against some really good teams. They are playing well, peaking at the right time, as you say, as the uh, Yeshiva League season is coming closer to the end than the beginning. And Heschel, they are quick with the ball. They got Coach Evan Pickman, the Hall of Famer. They like to shoot the three. And as I say that, he lines up a three bomb. It's a little short, but Lindenbaum goes up in the rebound and gets pushed, and he's going to be a side out. Good call by the ref as he got a little shove in the back. It's going to be a side out. I bet with the ball. Looking inbound, looking for something. Finds, kicks it out, and they reset the offense. That is Charlie Sutton, number two. Kicks it over to uh, Jesse Scarl, I bet. Takes it, dribbles it off his foot, and look at the hustle. It's on the floor, and it's going to be jump ball. Jump ball, and that is going to be who won the tip? I don't remember. I guess it's going to be JC Balls. Uh, the Heschel Heat won the tip. And don't forget, tomorrow we got another triple header action. We got the first game is the Rambam Ravens against the North Shore Stars. The mid game is the YDE Thunder versus your Hafter Hawks. And the third game is. As he lines up a three, Heller knocks it down. Boom, boom. The third game of the day is the Mac and David Warriors versus the Hank Hurricane. And of course, oh, he splits the defense. Sutton passes it up to Abed, lines up a three ball of his own, and he goes a boom, boom, boom. The scoring is going to be quick and furious. Look at Heller. He attacks the other way, and he draws a foul. Ari, I never understand why we uh, start at 1030 on Friday. We always run basically right up to Chavez. Uh, that game never well, what, seems to start. What is, well, do you want to be here earlier? I don't understand. I'm going to be here at 9 o'clock tomorrow anyway. I'd rather, you know, not be here at like, you know, 350. Yeah, Jay has to be Oh, right. You have Chavez. to get home for Chavez. That's yes, right. Exactly. Yes, correct. Where are you headed for Chavez? Texas? Uh, something like that. Okay. Where are you residing these days? I'll be back to you in a minute. I'm on the phone with Krupp. Okay. And the uh, foul shot is good as Heller knocks it down. It's 9-5. And they're like in a 1-2-2 a two, two press. Try to speed it up. And uh, here's a bad with the ball. Good defense by JC. They close out quickly. They find the uh, open man, and they try to trap him as soon as possible. Here it is, Sutton to Sutton. Lindemann playing the high post. Back to a bed who's a great slasher. The hop step, the jump step. Sutton takes it in. The beautiful dump down to Bohr with the finish. Jake the Snake finishes with the bucket, 9-7. to seven. Heller, he is just, he, he may be, i like to see him and Shamam in a foot race. Beautiful take by Moshe Heller. He says, we got two Hellers. You better be careful. Here it is, the defense, JEC, very quick. Uh, Franklin Square, by the way. Did you just answer a question I asked 20 minutes ago, like, like yes. that's all we've been waiting for? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Timeout called by Heschel. It's and a uh, little commercial? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why not? New York here and this 4 18 first quarter left. I don't know. Ari, I gave you one or two. Just cut it out. <laughs> the uh, JC Thunder have an 11 7 lead here in the first period of our triple header game number three. Very exciting here, folks. I'm not talking to the rest of the night. I'm done. Oh, I can't help myself. I'm back. Here I am. Drink some tea, right. have some chicken. Oh, I forgot about my tea. By the way, no more of this chicken in a bag. What is that? <laughs> Our viewers are chicken in a bag? Yes. Right, Four Sox has chicken in a bag. What is is that? I Getting had, it all over the camera? I haven't, I haven't not eaten, on the camera. I haven't eaten in four years of Saturn tournament, and now I had one little That's piece of chicken disgusting. in my stomach. Is killing. <laughs> chicken in a bag, then he touches the, the way, camera, the headset. He goes to me, Ugh, he goes to me, do you want some chicken? I go, yeah, I want some chicken. Like, thinking he was joking, he whips out this <laughs> bag of chicken. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, that's something you asked for tea. I got you some Yeah, chicken. I don't know. Bag, are you going to have a bag of chicken for breakfast tomorrow or no? Oh, oh, here's a bag of JEC. Oh, Glick cleans it up, and he finishes 13-7. to 7. And this tea is still hot, still staying in my pants. Ari, I told you. What did I say before the game, folks? I don't know. What? You know exactly what I oh, said. You said I said JEC's going to win. Said for, yeah, I said JEC's going to win. But 
Uh, aside from that, I mean, let's not look too far ahead. I said you got to win these quarters. Yes. And JEC, you know, you might think it's a Pyrrhic victory, but if they can get out of this first quarter with a win, those three, Ooh, the those quick three points are valuable. I love the aggressiveness What's of JEC. What's JEC's schedule the rest of the, the, the I will tell you. Games? So They're tomorrow. After Saturday Tomorrow JEC plays uh, DRS. That's going to be a very t JEC probably has the toughest yes, part here. Yes, by the way, correct. Heschel. DRS and Hafter and Hafter. Oh, wow. Let me tell you something. If you're if oh, you're a middle, Glick stops, drops. Hillel Glick knocking it down. He stops it and drops right on a dime. You know if, if you Woo, are over the take. You, if you, you can't even talk coach, here. Back to back action. If you're Coach Borenstein of JEC, when you saw this draw coming in, you know listen. You want to win every game. And, and, you, but and you also want to play. Oh, Kimmel's and they've a great been shooter. hot. You know JEC's unquestionably been a hot team. Is they're up 16-9 in this game, but with a draw like they have. As Coach Borenstein, you got to be going, i got to win as many quarters as but I by have. the way, you know who, J oh, I bet Jesse's girl can't knock it down. The rebound taken by Boris. I already finished it with the bucket. You have to, uh, JEC's offense reminds me of North Carolina Tar Heels, Roy Williams' system. They get the ball, and they just go. You know, JEC can be Oh, I don't like that the matchup. Best, go right by him, Helen. The best, JEC could be the best 0-3 team to ever play in this tournament. Yeah, no, no, no. They're, they are a good, good team. They are With a team. tough, tough draw here. Yeah, they actually probably, on paper, have the toughest draw. Glick is feeling it. The hesitation. Heller gets rejected by the big foul, Lindenbaum. And here is, oh, what body control by Sutton. He goes up, no call. They're letting boys be boys tonight. It Jesse passes up to Lindenbaum. Lindenbaum back to Bohr. I'm sorry, back to Sutton. Ari, you had DRS as your number two seed? Three, Three seed. seed. Three seed. You have Heschel as your number two seed. Right. And Hafter as your number five? Four. Four. McIntyre is my one. So you have them playing the two, three, and four seed in this tournament. Yeah. They definitely have the toughest draw. That That's is, that I'm is telling you, sure. they could be they could be the best 0 and 3 team to ever play. Yeah, but, but first it, it, of all, they're winning 16 11. So they are, and I said they're going to win the game. Right, they could also be 3 and 0. I mean, they are a good team. Yeah, in their mind, they don't care who they play. They, they think they're oh, the, the up, the under, the finish by all our right, own Heller. The angle and spin of that finish. Sorry, was, Moshe Heller was phenomenal. Ooh. That is Yeshiva League level. nominee. Yeshiva League pass nominee that's, for that's play of the game. That's an all play of the tournament, right yeah. there. Yeah, well, that's one of them. That's absolutely beautiful play. Uh, here's Lindemann. Got to keep the ball high. By the way, I'll man. tell you why I said JC is going to win this game beforehand. Heschel, I don't know a lot of these guys, a lot of new players, but Heschel historically uh, lines up a three from the corner short. What I was about to say, loves to shoot the three, loves to run, but they're playing against a team that's just as quick. Oh, my goodness. Heller is putting on a show. That is Moshe Heller with the finish. Like I said, you want to talk about quick. They're just as quick. They can defend the perimeter. I mean, Heschel just shot an air ball three-pointer on their last possession. That was probably a travel. Sutton with the no. thing. Why he counted that? This is not the NBA. No, 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 no. That's, he, he got it. It's an oh, one, right? I don't like that continuation call. Yeah, coaches, Coach Bourne, he isn't happy. This is I don't like it at all, right. all. Heschel's first subs of the day. We got number 12. That is Omri Benichu. God oh, bless you. Oh, that's a tough call. That's and a tough call. number 11 is... Silly 11. foul, though. Terrible silly foul. By the way, still at halftime, Rombaum leads Hank 28-11. If you're interested in watching that game. Oh, 11 is David McNasty. It's not. He was 14 in the books, but he's wearing 11. Oh, ooh, ooh, ow. All right, JEC. I take this possession slow. You're not going to hold nah, for one. They don't know how to no, go no, slow. No, take it slow. Heller knows one speed, quick and quicker. And look at as I Those say that, look at that. Speeds, all right. yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, a foul. It's a hand check. Huh? It's quick it's and quicker speeds. would be two speed. You said they know Quick, one speed. Quicker and quickly. That's so three speeds. Three. Three, I, yeah. I mean, he only knows three speeds. Ah, yes. No, I apology accepted. Oh, checking into the game for uh, JEC, I believe, is uh, Jacob Winters is coming, number 11. And number 24, that is Joe Matthew, the two named guy. Heller Joe checking Matthew. his, uh, wiping his shoes. I could tell you the floor was mopped before the first game tonight. Yeah. Great job by the uh, Hafter uh, janitorial, janitorial staff. department. And they're going to hold for one. Up by seven, as you said, you'd love to win. Uh, so Coach Pickman is not playing. Be careful. By the way, we haven't talked about Coach Pickman. Has he, has he calmed down? Is he taking as, some as, uh, you, as, you, as you say that. Oh, there we go. There we go. We need to, uh, you know, I miss Coach I like Coach Pickman on my left. Oh, there it is. A steal. Oh, and he lets him go for an open layup. Heller with the finish with four seconds to go. That is a tough. Oh. Oh, oh, there's another one. That's going to be good if it goes. No. Oh, front rim. I'm, I'm glad they uh, By the way, glad that didn't go in because the ball don't lie. Now, that shot was late. Now I understand why uh, Papa Heller is filming. The Heller twins have probably combined for 15 of the 22 points, I'm going to say. Four seconds. Check the stats. Let me know. Let me know if I just guessed that number right. Come on. He sits down. Oh, <laughs> Go speak to Romaine. 
Go find out. Go say Twan and, Ra and uh, Ra Ramon what the uh, com combination of Heller points have scored. Ari, wow. Yeah, uh, listen, like I said, you got to win every quarter in this tournament. And uh, JEC just won that one in dominating fashion. I said before the game we're going to get our first numerical upset of the tournament uh, in this game. It, it seemed obvious to me. You have two of the best twins. This is their third year. Not a lot of players play three years in this tournament. Uh, and this is their third year in the tournament. Their team is red hot. And they just, they're a great Thir matchup against what Hold Heschel on. does. 13 combined points. 13, I guess 15 on top yeah, of my Yeah, the head. two of them have as many points as Heschel. So uh, they just match up very, very well against this team. And I like them to win, and we'll see what they do. Listen, basketball is a four quarter game. You know? Uh, Leroy was just confident. He's like, damn, those hats are nice. Get them back on. Huh? You want a you headset? Bring him in, bring him in. When I said heads I said he I said headset, he went for his yarmulke. Leroy! <laughs> Leroy is back. Is Leroy muted? No, no I'm not. No, Leroy's never My muted. Man. Leroy's a celebrity here at Hafter. So Leroy, before the game I said JC was gonna upset Heschel. It looks like I got one quarter right. Right, I, I have Heschel as a two seed and JC as a five seed, so this is probably on Who's paper. Who's the one seed here? Uh Mag and David. Okay, good call. Of course, it's a good call, Leroy. Just if you're up, if you're on listening, just disagree with whatever I say. <laughs> All right. Oh, here's nice ball movement. Sutton hangs in the air and he gets a friendly roll. And there it is, Coach Pickman. Has, Coach Pickman is almost taking his tie off. Well, if his tie comes off, it's bad news for for the Heschel Heat. JEC will make nothing easy though. Even nope. those even those two points were difficult. Nope. And here it is. Now Literally. the pressure defense off the ref's foot. Oh, and their little body, little. Oh, they out of bounds. No. A little life. Heschel showing some life. Here it is now. Uh, it's going to be a side out. Down by seven. Heschel with the ball. And also, they're a team who can score quick quick and furious also. So don't uh, well, like underestimate Well, like I said, JEC absolutely defends. Look at, look at the way they defend yeah, the perimeter. Unbelievable. I'm really impressed with this JEC team. I was looking they forward to They are not going to give Heschel the open nope. three-pointers that playing, they thrive on. Ari Wick has sustained one three one defense. And there it is, number two with the ball. Sutton, and they look good defense. They're so quick. They trap. They don't give you much opportunities. And it looks like Heschel, as reminiscent in the past, not much of an inside game. The nice take. Four can't I finish. tell you, nothing is easy. Look at Heller all over him. McNasty wow. passes it up. Another rebound opportunity. Oh, what a out. tip out. Oh. Sutton with the ball. He gets it. Finds, oh, he got uh, it. Yeah, open oh, shot. the extra pass. Oh, I shouldn't have. Oh, what, what a, a pass. pass. Four with the finish. McNasty with the beautiful pass. 22-17, quickly, they've cut the lead almost in half. It was nine, and now it's five. And that would be half, I guess. Well, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be half, it'd be close <laughs> if you were gonna carry over something. <laughs> no matter maybe. what, it's uh, not no, half. It's not half, but Heller, oh, that's a jump ball. Good sure call is. by the ref. In the Heschel heat, Faithful is up and loud. As uh, It should be J.C. ball, Heschel had the ball start to Jesse Abed is checking in, and so is Yair Kimmel, checks in for number 30, who I didn't even know entered the game, that is if my mind serves me correctly, number 30 is Shalom Ringer. And now we got back. It's going to be a side out for JEC. Corner three, Yara Kimmel, great shooter. Can't finish it. Oh, and the hustle by JEC. Ah, ah throws it off down. his man. Here it is. Heschel in the open court. The ooh, no, jump, jump ball. ball. Wow, this Good is a call. jump ball for Nancy. Oh, nice sportsmanship. Eh, thought, he might have gotten, thought he might have gotten a little arm there, but all right. I'll take it. I don't know. That was good. You know, the refs made the call. Now it's outside out for Heschel. Well, you can see that through the window? Yeah. Oh, the beautiful <laughs> pass. Borer with another finish. Leroy, I got, I got three angles in here, baby. Three <laughs> angles. <laughs> but he still doesn't get it right. JC needs some points. Yeah, 20 and in there. Jake Goldberg about to check into the game. And uh, I'm going to say they're taking out 24 is my guess. Heller, look how quick. Great defense by Sutton. Great defense, oh better tough offense. Shot. How does that go? Very How does shot. that go Woo. in? Great defense, better offense. How does offense. that go in? That well, is a one thing. Play. Listen, one thing we could see. Uh, that I'm sure that Coach Pickman sees is that JEC's half court game is basically non-existent. Oh, nice. Jake Bohr with an open shot finishes. Jake Bohr has grown since last season. He's gotten taller, a little lengthier, but he is definitely grown. Heschel, the best way to slow down a fast offense is to score baskets. Absolutely. Jake Bohr standing in at six foot. In the scorecard, he's a senior. He hails from Riverdale, New York. And here it is, uh, the Heller boys playing back and forth action. It's a three-point lead right now. Beautiful pass, and the finish by number 24. That is 
Joe. I got two names, Matthew. And just as I say that JEC has a non-existent half-court offense, a great, <laughs> they a find great the open pass. Man. Look at Heschel. They oh, a beautiful alley you play in the finish. J. C. That's another top ten nominee. JEC might have to abandon this one three one. McNasty soon. passes to Sutton with the finish. That is Ricky Sutton. They're getting beat one. back door a little too easily. 26-23. This game, we may get triple digits in this game with this action. Back and forth. I mean, the we're not, orange, we're not on white. pace for that. But let's Quick timeout. No, we're not on pace, but it just seems like a lot of, as uh, Coach Bourne's You know we are on pace timeout. for? A commercial. We'll be back in uh, 28 seconds. And we are back 26-23 JEC over Heschel. Second quarter action here in our triple header Saturn Tournament 2019 after Invitational. And uh, wow, it's been a great night so far. We've had three games. So far we have seen... We've seen, we've seen DRS be victorious, Hafter be victorious, and this game is anyone's game. Quick shout out to the uh, Hafter Girls JV basketball team. I believe they are sitting at 9-0 and right now. Wow. Also known as undefeated. Who coaches the, that team? The favorite to win the championship. That's, I don't know, it's, it's uh, Coach Jalea, Jalea Sydney Jalea. is the coach, and uh, they are uh, looking to bring a banner home to Lawrence. So uh, congratulations That's to them on a great regular season. It's very impressive. Yes. So right now, here's Kimmel with the ball, guarded up defense. Finds the kick, the dish, the miss, and the hustle. The Yair Kimmel finds back Jake Goldberg, oh, who's trying back. to break ankles. Short, and the rebound is taken by Heschel. Yeah, after you break the ankles, you got to finish. Yeah, that's number 15 is checked into the game. That's a new one. That's Ellie Buchdahl. And uh, I was looking at names, and I missed the play. A foul on somebody. Sure was. And it's going to be side out. 26-23, 4.15 to go an hour. Nightcap of the triple header here on the opening night Speaking of Speaking of opening night, Rombaum and Hank playing right now. 35-16 Rombaum in the third quarter, 418 left. And uh, you can check that out on the same page you're watching this, hawkslive.com. Yeah. You get the main feed and the... Uh, Not Hawks Live, Hafter Live. Sorry, my bad. Hafterlive.com is up. Ben Polliner has checked into the game, number 22. And number 15, Ellie Buchdahl is in. And there was someone else new who checked in. We Hold got on. a turn. 24 for Heschel is Natanel Shapiro. 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 <laughs> Shapiro? <laughs> Shapiro. It's Shapiro. I mean, listen, I've seen it, you know. It's the Definitely famous Shapiro. famous attorney pronounced Shapiro, but. Uh, oh, yeah, that famous attorney, which I've never heard of. Is he a divorce to, I'm lawyer? To, I'm trying to help you out. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of attorneys, Adam B. Kaufman and Associates. He is the blast. If you're looking, have you ever thought about having a will, Leroy? Do you have yeah. a will? Not yet. Okay. Well, if you do one day, if you ever... Uh, I think Coach Pip... Oh, Coach they're hanging in the air, they're rolling. If you ever decide to marry that girlfriend of yours who you bought tickets for for the, for the show that you forgot about, you need a will. And Adam B. Calvin and Associates is the By the way, Ari, right, Coach Pickman, I believe, was just in the best position to shoot a three-pointer on that best ball. Oh, here's right number there. 23. That's Ben Pounder. A little long. Can't get it to go. And the rebound is taken by Bachdal, and he's going to go to the line for two. Eli Buchdal, as I butcher his name. 28-23. Moshe Heller, by the way. I'm oh. happy he is. Uh, he was. A, he was a. Ga uh, what's it called? A ga game. Game time. Game time to say GTD, and he is playing. As Jacob Winters is coming and is about to uh, check into the game number 11. Foul shot is good by Buchdal. He hails. Forward. He hails from. Uh, Hold on, let me just check the scorecard. First of all, he's it's a Green Bay, Wisconsin. Yeah, and he's a 57.3 foul shooter, courtesy of a Shiva League pass. We appreciate that. As he uh, calmly knocks down two. And here's the press by Heschel. Down by three. And they, oh, this is uh, quick. And number four checks in. Finds Kimmel, the lead, what the lefty. Pass. Can't oh, finish. That wasn't even close. And here it is. But, oh, here it is. Jesse's girl. He's going to fake it and go. Oh, he fakes it in dishes. Power oh, gets it ripped says, out. Give me that ball. Oh, here it is. Heller's a highlight ready to happen. Oh, the hesitation, the hang, the kiss, the finish. Beautifully done. Now, Ari, in the last Heller. game, we talked about not show mama, but show mama and how his body said, position right. is always perfect. Heller's not that player. No, no. Heller's body position is a little bit awkward, but, I, I mean, the, the, finish, shot, the right. shot just go in. By the way, like I said, I'd love to see a race between Heller and Shamama. 
And, no, no, uh, Shamama would win that one. You think? Yeah. I don't know. Heller, damn quick, a, too. A straight, a, a straight like, foot yeah. race? By the way, number four for JEC checks in. That's Ricky Goodman. Can I tell you something? I don't know if we'll see it, but I don't even think it'll be that close. Well, Saturday night, they may, they're may they playing against each other. Like the, I can't wait to see that matchup. It will be a great matchup, although Heller's better. Oh, Heller lines it up. Boom, wow. boom, boom. You know, we talk about his awkward body positioning. Uncle Not, That three-pointer three was textbook. Wow, and they all of a sudden it's an eight-point lead. Oh, that shot release was gorgeous. Yeah, but it looks like Coach Pickens is playing some players who maybe don't necessarily always play. Uh, you're open for a layup, buddy. Yeah, you know what? That's not a layup. <laughs> I've seen Jason Meyer shoot around. That's not a layup. It's like, he knocks uh, it down. He, he, he faked that three times and was still wide open. That's right. Here it is, Heller with the ball. And by the way, Heller probably plays the whole game, so he, he is definitely a kid who does not get now, tired. Th that this is not the Heller that was injured. I think it was, uh, I'd have to check my thing. Oh, it was, I think it was Aaron. Oh, that's a long that bomb from Yair Kimmel. Woo! It's raining three straight from Elizabeth, New Jersey, to Lawrence, New York. Boom, 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 another opportunity. No, and it's short. Kimmel gets a rebound. Now, Ari, our viewers should know that you are an alumni I am. of JC. I did. Oh, Heller lines up. That looks good from my angle. Boom, oh, boom, boom. where's the foul? Uncle Maishi knocking him down. Ari, get a bucket Just of water. Like this, kid, this kid's on game. fire. Yeah, and here wow. it is, Buchdahl with the ball. Passes up to Jesse's girl. Short. Heschel's been very short tonight. And here's Kimmel. They are feeling it up by 12. You know, some teams live and die with the three. Uh, I don't know that JC is that team, but, man, they could certainly live in with it right oh, now. Oh, look at this. Oh, they should have made that extra pass. Heller says, give me the ball. Boom, oh, boom, my boom. God. Oh, my Heller. God. He is burning Woo. out the light bulbs on the scorebook. He's heating up. He's on fire. Wow, oh, this he's, is a he's show. He's been on fire. You play, this is like NBA Jam yes. on fire. He's guy's got fire streaks coming out of his hair. Up by 15. Oh, the vol fake by Buchdahl and the help, and it's going to be a foul. Wow, that's a first stop in action probably all quarter. <laughs> Leroy is speechless. Wow. That is. Oh, Ari, what was the first quarter lead, uh, the, the deficit? Uh, I think it was like you were up by like five or six. No, it was more How than much? that after was the first it? quarter. Yeah, it was more than that. Wow. Moshe, how, I got to check to see which Heller was, was a game time decision. They're up by 15 now. They certainly weren't up 15 after the first. Nice inbound play. Oh, I missed it. What happens? And one? Uh, no, no, going to the line, though. Is it a bad that I'm afraid to speak to, to the Hasho coach right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be <laughs> careful. Oh, yeah, don't do <laughs> We that. love him, but be <laughs> careful. Even if he won the lottery, you no, should be scared yeah, to yeah. speak to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't ask him who his three point shooter is right now. <laughs> I'll tell you that on the line right now is uh, Noah Lindenbaum. Uh, by the way, Moshe Heller. He's playing and not even at full capacity. That's the one who is. Wait, no, now I'm confused. Aaron Heller is the is the gamer. Okay. No, yes. no, no, Moshe Heller. I just checked the. Forty two. Forty two. That's Moshe, Moshe Heller. Heller. Okay. And he oh, was and he was the one that he's is on injured. a little limp. Yeah, I think he's limping. Unbelievable. Yeah. Hold on. Now, all of a sudden, Four Socks is a doctor. Uh, yeah, it was Moshe Heller was uh, the one. Right, Moshe Heller, number forty two. Yeah, he's limping as he blows by his man. Good call, doctor. Limping. Biscuits. There it is. He passes, when in doubt, find your brother from another mother. Actually, from the same mother. Yes. Winter is back same to Same mother, Hella. same time. Right. 25 seconds ago. I'm going to guess again they're going to hold for one, but with nah. JC, you can't tell. They're so quick, and that's a little too much foul. A bed with the foul, and that's going to be a one-on-one. -one. If the fouls are right. Uh, Coach Pickman. No. Look at the yell at someone. It's four fouls. Now they have five. They don't have seven. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. My bad. My All right, bad. That's what I did earlier. Because, you know, I'm looking at guests that neither of them is Ooh. half there, so I assume they're guests. Oh, wow. Smart. Well, now they're certainly going to hold for one. Although oh, I like I like Heschel playing the ego. Oh, nice. Play. Oh, it should have gone. Ah, and I just got a comment. Injured last night from uh, Kimmel. I'm going to assume that's Mr. Kimmel's father. Oh, oh, oh. Give me some Maishi Heller. Oh, oh, oh my God. Moshe Heller. He is just, I don't know. He has cemented himself as the leader in the, uh, the all-tournament team right now. Not only that, he's one of the all-time players in this tournament. Let me yeah. tell you. We've seen, we've seen some great games tonight. We saw Gabe, not your mama, Shamama, play a phenomenal game in our second game. First game was uh, the Zach Brown brand was the MVP of that game. No surprise. And hopefully we're full of to Gabriel King Khan. We hope he's back tomorrow. Hope he's okay. He said he thinks he's going to be fine. Thank God for that. And Moshe Heller just finally misses something. As it's a foul shot. As That's we go into the half with the JC Thunder, courtesy of Moshe Heller leading the Heschel Heat, 43 to 29. And as we send you to halftime, uh, like we will do in every game, we'll give you a little word on the Israel Center for the Disabled. It is Hafter's uh, initiative to uh, support this great cause this year. A little word from them. And then our sponsor, Step It Up, will be back in just about 10 minutes, 7 minutes ish. Be right back.
Life didn't let me choose my challenges. Life didn't let me choose my struggles. I didn't choose to have the people I love the most taken away from me. I didn't choose this disability. There is only one thing I did get to choose. siblings and their mother have been brutally murdered in a terror attack. Around 2 a.m. terrorists broke into the Shabu family home in Itamar and opened heavy fire on the spot killing 15-year-old Nira, 12-year-old Svika, and 5-year-old Amishai, together with their mother Rachel. 9-year-old Asael Shabu, who was shot multiple times and severely injured, survived the attack by playing dead. Special units rushed into the scene and after heavy exchange of fire, the terrorists were killed. The injured boy was rushed to the Hadassah Hospital where he underwent surgery. Unfortunately, doctors had to amputate Asael's right leg above the knee. Nearby units are now blocking the whole area.
welcome to step it up. And welcome back. It's halftime here. The JEC Thunder 43, Heschel Heat 29. And uh, believe it or not, if this game was Moshe Aaron against Heschel, <laughs> I mean Moshe Heller, I apologize. Uh, Moshe Heller would only be losing by two points. Right. He yeah, had a 27-point correct. first half. Uh, Phenomenal. 27 by the way. of JEC's 43 points. The guy can't miss. No, it, he's he's been on fire. If By you the way, sent them to the parking lot and you blindfolded him like Sandra Bullock in Bird Box, like or like or like Sawyer or like yeah, Sawyer or like Sawyer yeah, Meyer, yeah, 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 you blindfolded him. But by the way, I just spoke to Coach Borenstein, who told me, by the way, Moshe Heller has uh, a game this season of 35 points. So, it, it, yeah. by the way, and also, <laughs> oh, okay, I've checked. He almost had a first half at 35. Right, I've checked the um, the Satran record book, courtesy of Yeshiva League Pass, the tournament record. For a single game, high scoring in the, the Saturn tournament is 37 points by the great Gabriel Leifer in 2015. Is that true? Yes. Uh, what do you think? 37 Jay, points. Jay, what do you think? Uh, Cody that? Coco Cohen had 36 in the same game, just so you know. Go what back and watch it tonight. About? Remember that Saturday night game? When Coco hit the, the uh, yeah, double overtime? Yeah, you're telling overtime? me in 1994 they were keeping stats, yeah, too? Jay, Jay, yeah, no, they were. I know this. Why you, yes. We were keeping track. I don't, I don't so know. So the either. tournament record is within shooting distance of Moshe Heller. So this is a great game. Uh, fortunately, we live stream them, so everyone can go back and hear that I said the JC was going to win. Where can you see? Hafterlive.com. You absolutely can. And by, uh, in all seriousness, at some point later tonight when these games uh, expire, uh, speaking of which, it is the fourth quarter, 43-36. So that game's kind of close. 43-36, Who's Rambam, in that gym? And Rambam and Hank, if you oh, want to so check nice, out. Nice comeback by Hank. There yes, we... if you want to check that out, uh, it's on the stream. All the games for tonight will be moved into the previous game section as uh, we set up for tomorrow. By yes. the way, hold so on. Tomorrow's so games will be on the live page. Someone and tell Abba Heller. Games will be in the previous game. Someone tell Abba Heller. He's going to start filming. Yes, yes, correct, as we uh, get ready yes. to start the By third. the way, and also, an interesting, Coach, Coach Borentine did mention also, his, he told his team in the half, uh, he told us, he said, listen, you guys, you played a phenomenal first half, but I'm going to assume we're not going to shoot that higher percentage again, so just be ready to bear down on defense. Heschel's going to come out as a you know, raging bull as Coach Pickman has loosened up his tie a little. He is going to make sure that Heschel is ready and clicking in all cylinders. So 
be careful of runs that are going to happen. Not the type of runs that Jason Meyer has, but the runs of the basketball game going back and forth. And Coach uh, Coach Dolph Lundgren's on his feet. I could see on where next, on next. Oh, on the other, I, I wish I need that video. We need that video. I thought we were going to have that. I could look at my little monitor here. By the way, um, I could do that. Yeah, yeah. tomorrow maybe. Yeah, tomorrow. yeah that's, that's what Ari needs. He's not looking at that monitor anyway. So put the right. on I see Kenny Sickwick in the crowd. No one wants to sit next to him. The whole entire gym is packed on the other side. No and and Fuego has the ball in his hands. Here it is, and he passes up. Let's see the defense that uh, Heschel's going to play. Is it a man or a, a, maybe a box of no. one? And uh, here it is, his brother. And he loses the ball. Bauer with the board with the rebound, with the steal. Here it is. Here it is. They start the offense. Here it is. Bohr back to Sutton. Sutton. Nice fake. Passes it up. I would shoot that. Here inside the board with a little leaner. Gets it to go. And nice now set at 12. And here is the press. The pressure defense. Again, very tough kid to pressure is uh, Moshe Heller. He's just so quick as he changes directions on a dime. They double team him. Finds his brother with the up and oh under. Oh, my goodness. Don't forget about me. I'm Aaron Heller. I'm the brother of Moshe Heller. You know, the I son just, of the filmer I, Heller. You know, it's like I wanted to comment on why he brought that ball down. And then that unbelievable. I mean, they work on these angles at home. They, I mean, they must sit in the backyard and just take ridiculous angles. Yeah. Spin up, spin. I, I mean. By the way, the Heller boys have been doing that since the womb. Unbelievable. And he finishes a three-point play. Uh, Could you imagine if this half, Aaron has 27? That is definitely Glick. No, that's Aaron Heller. Yeah, no, it's just uh, telling wow. a friend there. Wow, here it there, is. Uh, Here's McNabb. Mass with the ball, passes it up. Oh, there it is, the extra ball fake. And it gets it in the corner. Jesse's girl knocks it down. And a three-point play counters the three-point traditional play. And now here at Heller, he is uh, hand-checked. They're going to call a foul. No, that was a ticky-tack foul. Come on. Yeah, but you know what? Nah. The ref maybe saw it. He was about 30 feet behind the play, but his pen, I guess he saw it as I drink my iced tea. My, my hot tea, courtesy of Jason Mai. The socks of Quattro. All right, Heller with the ball. 12-point right. game. Coach Bornstein blocked by the ref. No, on the floor. 48-36, four and a half left in the other game. And then what, during the fourth quarter? Yes, sir. Right, we'll, we'll <laughs> it's almost the same score as here, and uh, we're <laughs> two minutes into right. the third. It's funny. Well, that gym is small. Oh, Glick with the ball in the corner. He knocked down a three. Oh, oh back to Goldberg what a behind pass. the back. Ari, he, Goldberg. he faked one behind the back pass to throw another one. That was, that was unbelievable. Great. Another Yeshiva, Yeshiva League pass nominee for plays of the week. Nicely done. JEC is just a highlight film in this yeah, game. Yeah, they are. I, I remember them even when they, last year, when they were, uh, I think they might have lost. If I don't, if I remember correctly, and sometimes oh, Hold on, before we speak, let's just watch yeah, yeah. Art in its best form. Heller has four guys back. There's one Heller, and he gets fouled. Oh, it's a jump, jump ball. ball. Oh, okay, they like calling that tonight. Oh. Um, <laughs> Ari, I think JEC last year had a tough draw, if I'm no. not mistaken. I think they got a tough one this year also. Uh, well, they have a, a virtually impossible one this year, but I think last year they had just had a very tough draw. Uh, okay, that'd be a foul. Hold on, I just got a, uh, I'm not used to this DM thing, but I just got something. Great live stream. Are people sliding Here, into yeah, the DM? Hold thing? on, great live stream. Just an FYI, fun fact. Filmer Heller, who's Abba Heller, is the famous Jewish singer Ira, Ira Heller. Heller. Is that is that is someone joking with no, me, or is no, that the real thing? A, that, that is Ira Heller. He is a famous. Okay, he's obviously famous in the Meyer household. He's a household. cantor, maybe, um, or something. He's a cantor. I, I'm not 100 percent sure. Wow, Wait, I did, did you not say he know had this. two names though? Ira Heller. No, read the DM again. Okay. Oh, you, you said Filmer Heller or something? Hold on. That uh, that was an impossible. Uh, I missed it. Filmer Heller, the fil the hel the the father who's filming. I'm calling him oh, Filmer. Oh, Filmer. Oh, hold on, hold on. Click made dunk it. Get your dunk cam ready. Is he lays it in? He said uh, wow, he is a, a famous quick. Jewish was... singer. Ira Heller. By the way, we're gonna have him sing that national anthem in Israel that they call has Kol Abaleva Hatikva. Right, Kol Abaleva. Unbelievable. Wow. Eighteen points, Ari. Eighteen points. JC's opened it up. Unbelievable. I had such a good feeling about this game. The Vegas odds, I got great money on this. It was like plus three, 310. Uh, Ari's Googling Ira Heller. No, no, I'm not Googling him. I'm just friending the person who just 
Uh, what do you call it? DM? What, what does DM yes. mean? Direct message. Direct yeah. message. Oh, was, direct message. Sorry, not to you, James. Aaron Azos just had an unreal finish and then an injury to Hank. Uh-oh. What? Uh, you know how the padded boards are very close to yeah. the... So uh, some guy tried to... I, don't, I can't see who it is. He tried to defend Aaron Azos and went hard into that padded wall. Ooh, hope he's okay. Yeah. By it looks the way, like he's so up. He's limping So uh, Hollywood... Yeah. Usually you're the best uh, voice in the in the gym. Yeah, you are. I'm gonna say. I mean, I don't personally know Ira Heller. Is he related to Morty Shapiro, Mordecai Shapiro? Uh, I don't know. Okay, but I'm gonna say Ira Heller probably has a better voice than you. Uh, it's possible. I, you're I not gonna say yes. I mean, just like JEC, the underdog came out and surprised you tonight. You know I, what? I think I might. Surprise you guys you. are gonna have a sing off before the championship game. We're gonna have a sing. You know, Ari, I've sang in theaters in many states in this country. I've <laughs> sang in theaters in New Orleans, <laughs> and uh, I sang in Vancouver. Uh, you know, big corporate events. So, uh, you know, that's right. After dinner. You know ah, what? that's right. You know After what? dinner. Are you singing? Time. Are you singing this year? No, I didn't sing last year either. Really? My, well, hold on. Uh, someone else. Someone else is sending that me a message. That was legitimate. Master. That was singing for your job. Hold on. There's <laughs> a, I got. Wait. Hold on. Someone else slid into my DM again. Hold on. <laughs> Most of Heller is the Heller twin that got injured last night. He's the one that's tearing it up. Yeah. Uh, apparently, apparently whoever uh, texted you that hasn't been watching this yeah, live stream. Thanks. We got that one. All right, that was appreciate that. So, by the way, could you imagine a full capacity Moshe Heller? Uh, no, I, I, I mean, you know, I, listen, I, that would probably I, be illegal you, on the Jewish. I must tell you, like, I, I, there's a lot of things about his game tonight that it's like, ah, oh, that looks a little awkward. I mean, maybe it's literally just because of the injury. You know, when he popped the three. I mean, he looked great. His three pointer form was unbelievable. By the way, another fascinating that uh, DM, DM I just got. Hold on, let's just see if, if shot goes down. Can't go. Well, well I'm going to say at the next commercial break, fascinating information that I just got. As uh, here it is, Moshe Heller with the ball. Fonz Kimmel, who's in his zone, three-point specialist for JC Thunder. And uh, bef as I pick my head up for my DMs, I've never had more than one in a night. Actually, I've never had two, any. So tonight I'm getting a lot. It's an 18-point lead here for JEC as they are looking uh, to that uh, was a foul. put the I mean, victory a very up. nice hustle steal, but he, was, he had his jersey in his hand. Here it is, 22. Goes up and under. Hangs nice in the play. air. Nicely done by Sutton. Cuts Useful. it to 16 with uh, 4.33 to go. Useful. But I will tell this uh, fun factoid at the next commercial break or side out. Here it is. Oh, he had Heller on the give and go. Here it is Jake Goldberg. Good defense by Heschel. They're really Ding up now. Kimmel with the ball, guarded by uh, Polliner. And he explodes, kicks the ball off. I Good defense by Nass. I wonder Find if Sutton. has Sutton. any relation to... Uh, oh, the Euro step, the scoop. And he can't finish. So just so you know... Yeah. I was just informed. Ira Heller sings Hatikva and the National Anthem at all JEC home games. Really? Yes. Well, let's sign him up. That is unbelievable. By the way, we're gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out if championship night. Sign him up. It. We have to hope well, JEC is still sure in the tournament it, yeah. at the time. Yeah. Well, if not, he'll be here filming, I would assume. Not if they're not in. If he doesn't have a cantorial uh, pre. By the way, That's I bet Ricky the Heller Sutton. boys have great voices, too. That's Ricky Sutton on the line. Just hit the first. Yes, Ricky Sutton. By the way, sometimes it skips a generation. Trust me. Why your dad couldn't sing? Mm, my dad is actually a chazan, but can't sing a lick, and uh, <laughs> you know. All right. None of my kids are uh, standout singers. All right, so but they stand out know. in many other ways. Oh, of course, they're you know athletes and artists. And oh, here it is, Heller with the ball. School, uh, That's a tough stuff. look, and he can't get it to finish. And the rebound is taken by Bohr. One of the very few shots he's missed. Passes game. it over to Nass. 15-point game. Don't count out the Heschel here. No, I know we've no, been talking no. about... I, I certainly haven't started the car yet. The array of uh, moves by the Heller boys. And there's another good floater. Bohr is a good player. Yeah, Long, one. lanky, quick timeout by Bornstein as he cuts it to 13. That's a good timeout by Coach Bornstein. Sure is. Settle the troops. Absolutely. We're going to hear from Step It Up. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Third quarter action here. Hashville Heat, JEC Thunder. We are at the 2019 Saturn Tournament here at Hafter. And uh, it's great to be with you. It's awesome to be with you. It sure is. 11-point uh, lead in the other gym. That's Hank and Rambam. Rambam ahead. And right here, the game that you're watching, the JEC Thunder 
are putting on a show. Not surprising themselves, but surprising a lot of other people. We had them ranked pre-tournament as the number... Five seed. Five seed. And uh, the Heschel Heat is the number two seed. are down by 15 but points here in the third because it has been the Moshe Heller show. Yeah. Although he has not scored yet this half. Um, I think you're right. Correct. By the way, if you want to check it out, go to halfterlive.com. You can see our pregame uh, breakdown of the tournament and uh, all games In there. In the previous game section. Right. So previous game section, you will see all you want to see about the, uh, the how we talked about. Oh, Heller to Heller. Back to Glick. Oh, shoot that yeah, ball. He, ooh. Shoot the ball. Yeah. JC shoots a lot of threes. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised Glick didn't uh, take a go up with that. He was Pull wide open trigger. on good ball moving by the Thunder. And here it is, Goldberg with the ball. So basically, JC, oh. all those kids can shoot threes. they got five kids on the floor right now who can shoot them. And uh, it's a foul. It's going to be the uh, fourth team foul on Heschel. Trailing by 13. So this is, uh, you know, Heschel needs to keep cutting into the uh, deficit here, chewing away at it, get it within striking distance. And you know, there's a fouls. lot of basketball left. Watch the fouls. Here it is, Kimmel with the take, the floater, the right hand, can't finish, gets his own rebound, which he's done before, and it's a jump ball, and is going to go to uh, stay here there with There have JC. been a lot of jump balls A lot of jump game. balls. Reminiscent of, like, the younger games, right, when you have a jump ball almost every second. But this is uh, just good hard-fought defense by both teams. Oh, not here, and the security guard almost takes it in the face. By yeah. the way, Aaron Azos, I'm watching him in the other gym. Oh, it's another guy who's I mean, as quick, his footwork, quick as anything. You, have to, you know, we talked about Shimama and, and his body. I mean, Aaron Azos' footwork is phenomenal. Yeah, he has that Euro step, too. He just had a move, a spin move. To, I oh. mean, he got fouled, and he's on the free throw line. But just to get to the basket, it's like, how do you defend that? Yeah, he's it's as very quick difficult. as they come. Oh, Glick, reaching by uh, Ness. It's going to be uh, the fifth, I'm sorry, the fourth team foul. So, we have so many quick guards in this in this league. No, that is the fifth hour. You, you keep looking at the wrong side. All right, I keep and, and they're in there. they are in deep foul trouble. Yes. Kimmel, good closeout by Heschel. Oh, oh like, in your whoa! What foot control by Sorry, Sutton he was to stay in the kitchen over there. Yeah, that was unbelievable. Leroy, how long have you had a headset on? No, he just got it. I oh, just okay. got it. All right. I'm like, I, I see in the picture. I'm like, the guy hasn't said a word in, right. in an no, hour. No one scored in about two minutes. That is a lifetime in this game. I mean, they have just sure been going is. back to back. But Speaking oh, of two minutes, less than two pass. minutes left in the uh, second gym. It is the only other game in the uh, second gym this evening. Hank is on the free throw line down by about 10, and they hit the free throw. How much time left? Can't be much. Uh, left. Uh, like a minute and a half. I think uh, it might be too little too late. Looks like Rombaum is going to go to one and now we'll, we'll recap after this. All yes, the of that are course. One They're going to have the three-point contest after this game because oh, uh, right. Leroy was a little too afraid to man up uh, with Coach Pickman. Oh. Coach Pickman's not the most friendly guy I know when he's losing. I'm yeah, sorry. no, not the most friendly Even guy when he's, he's winning, winning either. He's winning, no, yeah. he is. He is. No, he's he's intense. Friendly. He's intense. It's 54-45, by the way. It's Aaron Azos' ridiculous move to the basket. Uh, but I'm not sure who you love more, the the Aaron boys or Aaron Azos. Well, listen, family's family, <laughs> That's but right. uh, he's good. Well, you know what's coming? Winters is coming. Oh, boy. Jacob Winters Whoa. is coming. Uh, Heller uh, knocks it down. That's his 28th point. Remember, the tournament record is 37 points, so it is within striking distance. The great Gabe Li yeah, 37. The great Gabe Leifer, 2015, scored 37 in a double overtime game. I miss the Leifer. And Great guy, Heller knocks one two down. MVP tournament MVPs in a row. That's right. He was wow. in. Our, he, he like he like had rent in our booth. That's an a, so that's much. an actual fact, by the way. Yes. And they increase the lead to fifteen, courtesy of Moshe Heller. And now Heschel has to get going. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Ari, of course, I'm watching this game and keeping an eye on the other game. This is Hank's second trip to the line. Why with are they a minute, fouling? With a minute left in the game, down by ten. Do uh, Coach Dolph has to be yeah, he beside be himself. Yeah. He is not going to be happy with that. It looks like anytime uh, Moshe Heller gets the ball, they double team him. So that seems to be the uh, the defense they're running on. They're playing a strict man, but it seems as soon as Moshe Heller touches the ball, they double. There's a kick to, and can't finish. And here's number two with the ball. That's Sutton. That's Charlie Sutton oh, looking for quick. his body, Ricky Sutton. Ricky Sutton hangs and finishes. Oh, Charlie's Tucks quick. it to 13 a again. A lot of quick players. Yeah. I mean, this look, we have 10 teams here. I mean, Probably eight of the ten teams could win the Yeshiva League Championship. That's how uh, how good this tournament is this year. Who who are we missing here? Uh, oh, hold on. Lines up a three. Heller can't knock it down. Out. Kimmel, another nice offensive rebound. rebound. Oh, can't finish. Who are we missing here? Who the, are we missing, top teams? Uh, Frisch. TABC Frisch. and Frisch. But, right. yeah, that's probably about it. SAR we saw. <laughs> I wasn't my two, that impressed. My two alma maters? Yes, that's right. And Teaneck High. 
<laughs> I didn't go to Tina Kai. <laughs> Probably wish I did, but I didn't. This is a big chance for them to score. Bauer can't get the finish, and the rebound is taken by Moshe Heller. There it is with the ball, with the lead, up by 13. They so need some points here. They, they need it. They're going to want to, oh, Coach Yell score, score. I guess that's all he has to do. Ooh. That's Offensive gonna, foul. Oh, I it. don't like that call. I don't like that call one bit. Yeah, you know, he sold it. He went down. Oh, that was not a good call. Oh, he was moving like a like a Japanese maglev bullet train he was moving Oh, there. I hate you those can, maglev bullet trains. You can take a charge trains. playing defense while moving. No, right? no, no. How else no. are you supposed to play defense? You no, move I don't know. He's moving defense. laterally. That, I don't like that call That was a 50-50 call. Coach Bornstein hated it. Coach Pickman loved it. That, that's how it goes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that call. It, it reminds At me all. of the Japanese maglev bullet train that you talk about. So Leroy, often. he had no position whatsoever. He was just moving was and fell on the floor. He was in legal guarding position. They absorbed the contact and control. No, no, Leroy, Leroy is, is a Leroy is a ref. Player control foul. Not only is Leroy a, a Leroy, you Husky Alaskan driver? Leroy, you would have called that a charge? <laughs> yes, flare control oh, going get down out of the way. By the way, if I see effort like that on defense, I would have called it a charge too. Just to be, oh, Kimmel, this could be a backbreaker. Can't get Ugh. it to go. Six seconds to go. Saves it. Out of bounds. Good call. And it's going to be JC Ball with 4.4. That 4. was 4. a big time yes. mistake. It just let that ball go. All right, here it is. Let's see. Watch this. See if JC gets a three point designed inbound play. Coach Bornstein, another Yeshiva League Hall of Famer. Let's see what call. There it is, Heller. That's too good a look. How do you let him get the? Oh, oh the nope. up and under. Up and oh, under. way too good a look for him. He shouldn't have even got. I mean, he shouldn't have gotten the ball at all. All right. So it's eleven as we head into the fourth quarter. The JC Thunder lead the Heschel Heat 56-45. As four socks puts his four socks down, his eight hoofs, his two elbows, and his one <laughs> bag of chicken. Now here is some uh, an important <laughs> fact. There, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Ari. Well. <laughs> the Mumbo train has come in. <laughs> no, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that uh, JEC lost that quarter. They did. Right, because they were up by 16, 17, right? So, JEC won the first two quarters. That gets them five points. Correct. Heschel only gets one point, but if JEC can hold on with a, an 11 point lead here, they'll get the most important thing a win. So a win and five points coming out of a game. By the way, timeout, yes, timeout. Sick, Sicklet's been here Kenny, the whole Ken, night. Kenny Sicklet One leaves quarter. with eight minutes left. That is terrible. Just bad news. He's no, I think he knows. I think he knows what I uh, announced. No, no, no. Game. I mean, wh he where knows. is he it going? <laughs> He's probably he going to a late Marv. Probably miss Marv. He's probably going to catch He's a late. He's on Marv all night. It's only ten thirty. I know, right. but yeah, for him to leave, he must have got a call from the wife or something. Something happened. All right, fair <laughs> enough. By the way, the game in the other gym has gone final. Rombom wins. We're going to peak to the score. Fifty-eight, fifty-one was Ooh. the final. Oh wow! Close. They cut 58, it to seven. Fifty-eight, fifty-one, and uh, we're. We're going to turn that stream off so you can go ahead and rewind there. But are we going to make half stay here all night? <laughs> no, no. No, we're going to let him go home. Okay. It's like, half, thanks for the great website. <laughs> You're banished to the small gym all night by yourself. <laughs> That's just not nice for you. You know what? Tomorrow, Four Sox is filming in the other bit. <laughs> half, you're on the main screen here. We just decided Four Sox Meyer is going to the next gym. And uh, here we are, back to action. 11-point deficit for Heschel. Every possession is crucial. Yeah, this first one could be big. Get some points here. Yeah. Cut the lead down. Get a little momentum. Get their Heschel hate crowd in here. All one of them is You know, here. you got that six foot four. Oh, fella. he gets fouled. to go to the line for two. Jake Bohr. By the way, interesting fact. I remember, actually, it was Saturday night last year, Mag and David versus Heschel. Jake Bohr had a chance, two foul shots, to send the uh, Heschel heat to the victory. He missed them both. And I remember Coach Pickman told him, keep your head up. And he uh, is back here this year. And missing foul shots again. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, you're supposed to hit that. I set you up to make the comeback story, but no, he's a phenomenal player. Jake Bohr so. listed at six feet. Yes, and he is a senior from Harlem, New York. And he does make that free throw. Yes. And there it is. Cuts it to 10. Again, the defense has uh, been you know, slowing down Heller as best he can. But well, Moshe Heller said, I scored too many points in the first half. Right. I won't score any in the second. You know, you can slow one Heller down. But you got to sell the second hell oh, down. Oh, and that, that's one and one. 29 seconds into the fourth quarter. Wow. And JC is going to be shooting free throws. Yes, that's, uh, that, that's that something to think about. That is brutal. I, I said it last quarter. I mean, they were, they were at five fouls very early in the third. They are in some brutal, brutal free throw trouble. But, or foul trouble, I should say. 
But let's see if JAC can make some free throws. and uh, well, They might put this game away on free throws. Let's see. Heller Boy has been practicing foul shots as their father sings in the backyard for as long as I can remember. Yeah, oh, I mean, that is pure, pure, pure. Nicely done. Aaron Heller, Moshe Heller. Nachas tonight for the Heller Mishpach. Much, much Nachas. Yiddish and Nachas. And the overhead view brought to you by the half their AV department as the second Nicely one. Done. I mean, knocks him down. That ball was perfect. 12 points. The lead is for the JEC Thunder. Great defense, great effort. Weren't they up they by 11? And he just hit two. No, they were up by nine. Uh, mm, yeah, I don't know. No, they were up 11. Yeah. He oh, made he a free throw. in the air. Oh, he right, made right. one, made one out of two. All right, Ricky we got the, the other end. Get him on the board. Ricky I forgot Sutton, you can't see you, everything. As you yeah, put his yeah. name up, Ricky Sutton, the guard, five foot nine. You're going to put him up on the thing? Uh, Sure. That is Ricky Sutton. I remember five foot nine. He lives in um, Hoboken, New Jersey. Makes the commute to Heschel every day. He knocks down the first foul shot. Sure does. And he is listed. Ricky Sutton. You know, to me, he looks like he's probably about five nine. If I had to. Uh, well, it says it right there. On oh, your yeah, monitor, there you go. Right? Yeah, there you go. Be nice if you paid attention once in the blue. I am. I'm paying attention. Sutton's second foul shot. Oh, can't roll it home. Ooh. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Whoa. 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 Goldberg Whoa. did not. Whoa. That was a wrestling move. In the, we <laughs> honored the late, great Mean Gene Orkelin. Yeah. Ari, in Yeshiva basketball, that has to be a technical foul. No, it it's be. not a technical oh, Good sportsmanship. They, uh, they duke it out. They say, my bad, didn't mean to throw you like a rag doll. I mean, two hands, and yeah. that was after. By the way, the reason why I believe that should be a technical foul the it throw is, on the floor, well, it's foul shots anyway because they're, they're in the penalty. Oh, you're right. The so maybe throw on the floor was after the whistle. Yeah, but you know what? I, I, what I do like, they, they, uh, you know, they, they hugged it out afterwards. They're I don't spending know. the whole shot 11, together. 11-point 11 game. That should have been, been a tech. <laughs> it would have been an intentional foul. You know, yeah. high school rules, not, not the NBA, but okay. Here comes some new players. Jesse's girl comes in, number three. And uh, McNasty, number 11, is checked into the game. These are big foul wow, shots for Goldberg. Was, that was one of the hardest fouls I've ever seen in this gym, this i got to be honest. Barrow with the rebound, kicks it up, and here we go. It's uh, an 11-point game. Sutton with the ball. Passing, finding the old man at bed's a great shooter. And wow. he knocks it down. That That's is great. boom, boom, boom. Oh, that should have been a foul, too. All he, got of hit sudden, on, he got hit on the hand on the release. Eight but. points. If you're coached by Coach Pickman, you don't go down without a fight, fight, fight. Coach Pickman is willing his team to pick up the pace on defense, force the turnover, keep your run going, and Jaycee's Got to get the ball back in Moshe Heller's hands. He's the uh, the man who makes the team go. And right now, he's being guarded up by Ricky Sutton, who's an all-Yeshiva League defender, according to Yeshiva League pass. He was voted 13 Yeshiva League def defense last year. So, And that was as a junior, which is impressive. Oh, the find. Oh, oh, the save. Here it is, Goldberg. Oh, he finds Kimmel, the fake, the, the drive, the finish, the foul. Yair Kimmel with the finish in the conventional three-point play. As he goes to the line for the finish. That was a big possession by the JC Thunder. Big Ari, you know, Moshe Heller has been non existent in the second half and uh, still contributing, still moving the ball. Yeah, and he's not forcing shots, which is amazing. You know? Very smart. Smart player. I mean, he may not get the tournament. Uh, oh, be careful if someone walks up by your booth. This, he, he's got to say hello. Obviously. Oh, yeah. You got so excited. <laughs> what are you out of your mind? That's how excited I get when I go home and I see Bella. Sorry about seeing and dogs. Of course I, I know, I know. There's nothing right now. He's getting pounds. We're not going to hear from Jay for about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he may not leave the gym until 2 in the morning now. Talking to the great Daniel Aaron, the cousin from another cousin from another mother. They lost an A in their relationship. And uh, it's foul shots for Jake Goldberg. What happened? A bed is fouled out or just taken out? Yeah, he's fouled out. He fouled out? Yeah. Ooh. So it's an 11-point game. By the way, this last quarter is going to take an hour with all the fouls that uh, JEC is going to be shooting the foul shots as they are up by 11, 6.20 to go. This game is not over. There's a lot of basketball to be played. And I uh, missed the foul shot. JEC is coming up empty on the foul line. They got some great footwear. Some of them with nice orange in their sneakers. Looks like most of them are... Looks like JC is a Nike school. Matthew has pink in his sneaker. That's not orange. Oh, that's, that's like, like yeah, I'm just colorblind. That's I'm like colorblind. That's like peach. But there, there, JC is a Nike school. At just least so you, you can know. see something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sawyer, God bless you. Thanks for listening. Here it is, the pass. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, there we it had, is, Ricky Sutton. We had a quick chat. Up by 12 with 6.06 to go. 
Wow. And uh, Heschel is going to need to score some points, but by putting the other team in the foul bonus, they are going to have opportunities to stop the clock and to chip away. And here it is, two foul shots. Yeah, both teams, uh, you know, listen, depending on the refereeing in a high-speed game like this, you're going to get a lot of fouls. That's just what's going to happen. Um, I thought they called a ticky-tack foul early, you know. Yeah. Listen. Very aggressive game. You got to call these fouls. Someone's gonna get hurt, man. Oh uh, yeah, but when you take a guy two handed and throw him to the ground after the after the uh, after the whistle, that's not an intentional foul. Hey, you changed the terminology. I like. That. Oh, good hustle by Nash. That, that's just a common foul. Oh wow, look at you. Oh, look here it is. Heller Leroy, in the open I've seen, court. I've seen a couple games of basketball. Oh, right the here. beautiful pass to Joe Matthew. What a move. Can't finish, and the great rebound by twenty four. He packs it over to Sutton. That was a big empty possession. You gotta, you gotta capitalize on. You have a break. Take some time off. Oh. Take some time off too. Sutton with the ball. There without uh, a bed, who's probably their best shooter, is on the bench. Has fouled that board. We haven't seen him from outside. Oh the boy, a big one. Oh Cuts boy, it to nine. That's a big shot. Jake Bourne. There's a oh. good look. Heller to Matthew with the finish. Beautifully done. Heller great answer by great JEC. Pass. Great answer. Here's McNass. I mean Nass passes it to the corner. Uh oh, McNass. timeout by Coach Pickman. I, th I don't think he liked the pacing there. He wanted to slow it down. Oh, that is no, hard. He's upset about that wide open Yeah, that is heartbreaking. <laughs> after after you hit a three to cut it to nine, you give up two points within about three seconds. Absolutely. Oh, you can't like that. And before <laughs> before JC threw that great pass, I was just going to say, JC, if nothing else, has to get some time off the clock out of that possession. By the way, two points is uh, even better. I just noticed something, and as I look down at my, at my phone, I got another... Uh, what do we call fun it? Fun factoid? No, DM and a fun factoid. All right. As I go. was talking about JEC as a Nike school, Hillel Glick is wearing customized Curry shoes with little JEC logos all over the shoe. Wow. We're, we're going to find... Where, where are you going to get shoes? that? Right in the middle. Right. I spy. I can't see. I, I oh. spy with my little eye. There we eye. go. I got to see those. Wow. We're going to bring those them up cool. later. All right. Those is it cool. too early to even begin to think about player of the game? Well, I mean, because of the score here? If, if it's JEC, if it ends, it's, it's Ira Heller, the singer. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to bring him in and then maybe we'll give Moshe Heller a microphone also. No, it's got to be, if JC wins, it's Moshe Heller. Although, Glick with, I like those shoes. That is cool. So, wow. oh, look at Heschel. Look at the camaraderie as, they, as to how they listen to Coach Pickman sing the gospel like only Ira Heller can. If and they don't uh, listen to Coach Pickman, who knows what would happen. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't, you don't <laughs> listen and look him in the eye, it's ugly. <laughs> you are done. All right, that guy owns that place. I remember when we went there for the JV championship last year to call that game. Well, he's a presence that. over yes, there. Yes, he is. He's, he's a presence. He's a Hall of Famer coach also. We have a lot of Hall of Famers. A lot of Hall of Famer Yeshiva League coaches yeah. today. Leroy hopes oh, to be nice one one day. I got my first banner last year. Wow. Which one? What grade? Eighth grade. Oh, nice. There well, it is. Does Heschel know? Oh, yeah, they got uh, that Salem by, uh, kid. That Salem kid's good, right? Winston. That's right. Does Heschel know they're down by 11? Uh, yeah, but you know they're going to make the right shot. That looks good for my view, and my view is blocked. They're follow through. Can't get it to go. Oh, that's a tough miss. And here's another rebound. opportunity. Sutton with the ball in. Oh, out. nice pass. Oh, boy. It gets hacked. No call. Look at the fight. Oh, there it is. The good extra shot. pass. The corner three. Can't get it to go. The sky for the rebound. They get another opportunity. Sutton. That's Charlie. What a Back pass. Back to Ricky. That's the Sutton boys, not to be confused with the Heller boys, but the Sutton boys have another, uh, what are they? A brother from another mother. You know what? Four opportunities on that. Three offensive rebounds, two points, but a lot of time ticked off yeah, the clock. Yeah, but it would have been even worse if they didn't score. They cut it to nine. Oh, it would have been, but yeah, nine points. Clock's ticking. Yeah. JC's got to be smart and use some time on these possessions now. Yeah, and again, any, any ticky-tack fouls going to send them to the line. Like As that I one? say that, but you know what? I like that. You got to take no, a chance. No, that's a foul. That's, yeah. a, that's a foul. Whoa. But broke his own ankles. But Moshe Heller, <laughs> Moshe Heller just knows how to use his body. I mean, as yeah. soon as he reached in to get that ball, he shuffled, put the ball in his backhand, and fell. Well done. Hold Ari, on. Someone else wants to send me. Uh, what do you think about Yeshiva instituting the shot clock? Oh, please, God, put a shot clock in. Okay, here, quickly. Someone, someone says, can you explain how the point system works? So yes. Jay, quickly tell him. Okay, oh. so, uh, of course, when we go to reseed on Sunday, the best, the six teams with the best record will move on to the A tournament, and the four teams uh, with the lowest records will be in the second-tier tournament. If teams are tied, meaning they have the same record in a three-game tournament, that, of course, is going to happen, we first look at head-to-head -head between those teams. So if they've played each other, the team that won uh, will be a higher seed than the team that lost. If they have not played each other, 
Then we go to a point system. And the way that point system works is in every game I think this play, is the part that they wanted to know. How <laughs> <laughs> point system works. Everything else is pretty much... Uh, hurry up. Uh, they, they know the other part. All yeah. right. <laughs> in a, <laughs> the way the point system works is in each game that you play... As Bar does you a favorite hits a foul shot, so you have more time to talk. Winning every quarter yields you points. If you win the first quarter, you get three. Take, the take second quarter, out, you get two. And the third quarter, you get one. There are no points awarded in the fourth quarter. All those points are added up in the three games for a point total. And uh, if two teams have the same record, you look at the team with the higher number of points for winning quarters, and that will determine which team is a higher seed. Now, of course, that's done uh, versus just saying, hey, let's just look at point differential. How much do the teams win by? Because they don't want teams playing for blowouts. You know, uh, we certainly don't want to promote teams winning by uh, 50 and 60 and 70 points. Uh, so to not do that, you just win the quarters and that's it. And then in the fourth quarter, it gives no uh, teams the incentive. Is it Sunday night yet? Are you still <laughs> talking? God. Yeah. By says the, way, the guy that never shuts up. Hold on. I love DMs, but I'm going to have to ban this person. Uh, Rolling Ocean 45. Uh-oh. can't ask. No, I'm joking. Good questions. Keep the DMs coming. And uh, Glick goes to the foul and he knocks it down. That's Hello, so Glick, the 6-2 forward from Pasadena, California. Yes. He makes that commute every day. Has to deal with the time zone difference, but he is... Uh, well, it's great yeah. at night, you know, when you land. Anyway. Yeah, and here we go. And he increases it to 12 points. This, this is not Romaine. Who's this? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> not Romaine. Oh. All right, here it is. 12 points. They got to go. Yeah, they, they got to hurry. Now they got to hurry up. Yeah, but you know what? They have their, their best shooter, number three, is Jesse Abed, is not in the court. Yeah, Sutton's got to maybe, maybe he's not a three-point shooter, but he's... That's he, a nice pass. It's a nice pass, but they need buckets, and there's a, an opportunity, and he knocks it down. A three-bomb. All right, didn't Elon... Boom, boom, boom. Uh, didn't Elon Orgel wear that number, 24? Yeah, 24. Yes. That's impressive, Great huh? Elon Orgel. That is impressive. Nicely done. Big-time uh, Heschel Hall I'm of surprised. Famer. I'm surprised they didn't retire it. You know what? Heschel, they don't put names on the jerseys. They don't retire numbers. And somehow, Heller gets the ball. Smart, smart Petty timeout. He calls a timeout. Smart, smart, smart. 317 left. I would say uh, either 30 seconds on the off this possession or two points will win the game. By the way, quick uh, check your AV chat. Schlossel has a question. Oh, uh, what does he want to know? Anyway, it's a good question. Okay. Hold on. Uh, when the game's done, what should we do with the cameras up here? Good question. Leave them. Leave them. Because we'll be back here in like 20 minutes exactly. tomorrow morning. Exactly. So. Maybe just lens, throw the lens cap on. Uh, not even necessary. It's no. fine. Yeah. All right. as, Ari, as Ari said, we'll be back here. Hold on. Speaking of lens claps, God bless Sawyer. The lens, our lenses are not working. But uh, I really, uh, yeah. it's so sad. Any doggy eye doctors out there. I know. <laughs> by, the, by the way, I do have, I can't wait to get home to walk the great Bella Wickes. Should I bring her to the game tomorrow? No. You bring her? You can bring her over to my house. <laughs> yeah. No one's going to see her if she's there. Oh, you know, that's I love Sawyer. I, I even love her more right now because after seeing that, that video of you putting food in front of her face and her just like banging into walls, not knowing where to eat. It's so sad. So sad. By the way, a nice crowd here is the after I mean, is the Hank and Rambam kids have stepped into the gym. All right, a nine point game. Again, we said this quarter was going to take a long time because of all the foul opportunities and foul shots. Here's a good trap. That's a backcourt. And uh, there it is. A great call by the ref. Ari and he turns it over. That was not 30 seconds, nor two, two points. points. Was it two points? This is a big possession for Hesha right possession. now. Big possession. And they can't and they can't take uh they, they can't no, take 20 ooh. minutes to score a basket. And by the way, if they're fouled, they're gonna go for one on one. That's his sweet spot. Jake Moore oh, can't finish. Wow. But he gets ooh, that's a quick jump ball call. Coach Pickman. He is not happy. Every jump ball in this yeah. game has been uh, you know, just that a, a quick and questionable. I, I, I think that one was low. Oh, and it's JC ball. It's a double negative. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, here it is, Heller. He's going to room, room, room. Don't go with our boot. Yep, that's a foul. Right oh, yeah. Heller. The up, the under, the finish. Unbelievable. Meister Leroy. Heller. The angles at which this kid can finish layups are unreal. Unbelievable. Unreal. The only like thing better in the Heller household is the singing of his Abba it, Ira Heller. That's the first, his first basket of the Ooh. half, right? Uh, he's got foul four. He's got, I think he's got like six points this half from four foul no, shots. No, that was his brother. No, that was Moshe Howard. I, I don't know, but I think his brother was at the line. Check, four socks. You want to find out? Yeah, I think he's got, according to my calculations, he's got 33 Four socks, I'll mute you for a yeah. second. Go ahead. I mean, he's, he's born muted. Just go check. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. What a lay. He, has, he, he had Just two layups. He, all we he, need to know is the second half, how many points he has. We had he had two layups this game, one in the first half, one in the second, that were just like, how did that go in? 
Rebound by JC. That's huge. That's, how many points? Uh, oh, hold no, on. just I, find I out how many him. points he has in the second half. He doesn't half. know. He's got it running. I don't think he's got it. He doesn't have it by uh, well, I'm going to say he has 33 points total. All right, just ask Jay. Just ask him how many points he has in the second half. He, he's running, so he doesn't. He, he, what do you mean? There's quarter boxes running. in the book. Leroy's a runner. What do you mean? <laughs> Romaine's not a runner. Ask Tuan. Come on. <laughs> Oh, he's counting. He's counting. We're going to okay. find out a little update. I'm assuming your boys aren't going to listen to the This is Yair Kimmel, the six-footer. Three-point shooter from Hoboken, New Jersey. What do we got? Oh, Forsyth is listening. Hold on. They're asking him to do some math, and Forsyth can't do that. Uh, By the way, your screen here, something happened. It went down, but whatever. It did? No, it didn't go down, but it just like says format or something. Oh, yeah, you touched it. And six in the Wait. second half. Six in the, exactly what I said, 33 points. I am on fire. Here it is. It's a 13-point game. It's getting late now. Sutton hangs in the oh, air. Oh, ticky tack And it's going to be two again. foul shots. 33 points. The, the uh, tournament record is within striking distance, but I don't think Moshe Hallett cares about tournament records. You he said cares it's 37, about the right? Right. So it's in striking distance. He cares about the W. We we don't believe if you combine the Heller boys, you do have a tournament record. Yes. You combine points by a Heller. You got I it. I don't think it works that way. But that's fine. By the way, here, Heller's hiding out by his coach right now. I love it. Like coach so Borentine is hiding Heller behind him. Oh, no. Oh. We got Ricky Sutton on the line, and uh, something's going on. Ari, can you fill us in? Uh, they're, they're questioning the, the uh, running points or the two foul shots or something. Well, every foul for either team going forward will be two free throws, so this last two minutes will feel like an NFL football game and take four hours. Speaking of NFL football games, big weekend of playoff games. Yes, correct. All right, take us through excited. the NFL playoff. Uh, I don't know who's playing who, but I know the Cowboys and the Seahawks are playing. Saturday they are. Night. They are. And the other game is Indianapolis. The who's the other game? The Bears. The oh, the Bears, Bears against the Bears against the Eagles. Right? Is that the game? Yes. Ooh, that's a great game. At the book. Oh, uh, be careful! Winter is coming. Uh, well, I guess we can talk about this now. So, uh, yeah, the Bears are playing the Eagles in Chicago. And the Cowboys will host the Seahawks in the Big D. And on the AFC side, uh, we got uh, we got Houston. Uh, Hold on, breaking I news! Breaking news! A shout out to a uh, big fan of the JC Thunder, Sipporah Winters. If you're out there and if you're listening, I got some news. Winter is coming. He's about to check into the game. And a big shout out. That was an in-game shout out as your son was about to check into the game. He says, "Mom." I know you're out there. I love you. Thank you for putting me through JC for three or four years. I'm not sure if you're a junior or senior. And a uh, quick shout out to Sapporo Winters. As uh, your son is Ari, that was the longest, weirdest shout out you've ever had as Ricky Sutton hits his <laughs> first. As Winters sits back down. <laughs> as Winters sat down. He just came over to give you the shout out. He just came out to get a shout out. I like you fake going into the game to no, say, no, say hi to mom. Well, Sutton the, cuts the, the deficit was, to 12 there. Gave the foul and now he to, cuts it to 11. He gave the foul to Aaron Heller at first. It was made five fouls. It was Ooh. confusion. It was really on 42. Offensive. So, oh, oh. So that's why he was up. Oh, okay. And that is, that is an why offensive foul. That is why Four Sox is the third best sideline reporter now, in the Yeshiva and, League And now pass. he's back out. By the way, Yeshiva League Pass is looking for new sideline reporters. I'm going to give them your number, Four Sox. No, no, no. That foul was on 41. No, now it was. But the one before was on 41. That's Aaron Heller. Aaron Heller checks out of the game. He's fouled out, you're saying? Let him check now out. He's fouled out. officially fouled out. Ah, Okay. And now Winters is coming, and Winters is here. All right, 11-point game with the ball. Sutton. Shoot the ball. Yeah, but you know what? They're, they're just trying to make too perfect of a pass. And now go over with the ball. When in doubt, find a Heller. But only one of them is in the game right now. Kimmel with the ball. Well, and that's uh, going to be a foul. It's going to be two foul shots for Yair Kimmel as he goes to the line. I believe Yair Kimmel made his last two. Not to look too far ahead, but with Heschel now playing Maggie David Saturday night, tomorrow must win, right? Who, who are they playing? Almost tomorrow. Tomorrow, no, 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 no. tomorrow, no, no. Tomorrow they're playing. No, no, no Saturday, Saturday night. night. Yes, right. yeah. No, Four Sox is right. Tomorrow, uh, they play Shari Torah, a game that they should win. Should win, but I almost and then know. Saturday night, as you said, they play Mag and David. Tough so, game, yeah. yeah. And by the way, I mean, two and one might not get you in. We talked about that. Yeah, because they lost, they only got one point in the point system in this game. So they're going to have... They have to win. The, tomorrow, they're the going to have to blow out Shari Torah. Yeah, that's, and Shari Torah is not going to be a team that just gets... Well, actually, they lost by a lot to half. To they don't give up so. early, though. Right. There's Heller. Foul him so he can go for the record. 
Oh, look at it. He's a one. He's like Bob Cousy dribbling out the clock. When in doubt, pass it over to Safaro Winter Sun. Uh, that's not a pass you want to make with a minute. Probably not Sephora. Winters is probably Sephora, right? I am Jewish. I should know how to say Sephora. Oh, here it is. Glick with the ball. Oh, well, you, don't, smart. you don't know the name of Hatik. Oh, that's right. But that's a overrated. Oh, match, right? great play. Yeah, it is. They are just running out the clock. There's a foul. Here it is. Keller's going to go to the line for and an attempt probably, to get his 34th and 35th point. And probably wrap the game up here. He won't get a chance after this. I think. The but hold on. Think Gabe, Gabe Leifer just texted, is my, is my scoring streak in doubt? My, my, my single game uh, record watching. in doubt. He's watching. He's watching. And well, texting. it's not in doubt. We believe you. Um, I think he means in jeopardy. In jeopardy. Oh, he wrote. Right, right. Maybe I, butch- I couldn't read his, uh, his, his uh, text properly, but right. And it's, he wrote. it's deleted now. That and by, yeah, and by the way, he goes, by the way, if anyone would break my record, I'd be happy for Moshe Heller to do it. So wow. That's, that's, that's an MVP. Did this right conversation there. actually happen at and, all? Mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Heller goes to the line. That is his 34. It, it happened as much as the <laughs> tournament point record. No, the <laughs> tournament point record is yeah. I did. I spoke to Joey <laughs> at halftime. He told me. Yeah, okay. All right, this will be his 35th point if he's able to knock it down. Yeah, he is. And he does. That's 35. What's Unfortunately, up? I don't think he's going to get a ch- uh, Yeah, they're not uh, taking him out. He's their ball handler. No, I don't know they that. I don't know that. Oh, Vaughn again. is coming in for Kimmel. Goldberg checks out of the game. I only saw one check in, but two check out. But they only have five outs. So yeah, they good. only need four. I've never used a mute button so much for one game. I, awesome. pre- I appreciate it. Yeah. It's going to be a side out with 60 seconds to go, also known as one minute. Wow, Ari, the, the, your math skills yeah. since JEC have really improved. Quick timeout for Heschel. Yeah, I could see uh, Coach Beckman's going to say. Way, uh, 76 points. By the way, no joke, tournament record, 76 points. No. Oh, you think we've seen 76 points? Yes, before? get out of here. Hold on, let me check. Let me check the books. I think we've had 81. Ah, you're right. We've had 81 back in 2011. 81 by the then North Shore Stars. That double overtime game ha- had to be higher than 76, no. no? No way. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. Check it. I mean, I that, that we can do. That we can do. There's no way there were 76 points in that game. This was like a, a quiet 76, too. They didn't do much in the second half. Right, but that's a lot of points. JEC, kudos to them. They're going to be victorious here. Probably, as we said, the uh, toughest draw in the tournament. But you know what? You just beat who's in front of you, and then uh, you don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah, they've draw. softened their draw quite a bit by winning this game. And by the way, why can't they beat DRS tomorrow? Oh, MD, when is that from? Yeah. Earlier, Mag and David had 79 points. Oh, Mag and David had 79 points earlier. tonight. Tonight, yeah. Yeah, okay. I guess it's not a tournament Oh, a record. three ball. Hold the ball. Hold the ball. Take five uh, or don't. Oh, teams teams forget that. You get five seconds yeah, inbound the ball. Yeah, inbound the ball so fast. Yeah, with less, with less than a minute left, use the five seconds. Oh, quick turn on Moshe Heller's first negative play of the game. Turns it over. Ooh, and that's backcourt. Yeah, that's a backcourt. Unfortunately. <laughs> what was he supposed to do? Coach Pickman says, good try. <laughs> what, what was he supposed to do? Buchdahl. Buchdahl, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's okay. <laughs> Leroy, uh, you still have to ask him for his three points. Oh, yeah, good luck. Le- <laughs> by the artist and formerly by the way, known as Leroy is going to be now. dead. <laughs> oh, well, uh, this is. Oh, this no. is oh no. Coach uh, Pickman. I, oh, my like that God. hustle. How do you. What are they doing? Are oh, they no. trying oh, to lose? God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Coach Pickman. He's got four. Oh, my God. He's got four more games to worry about. Coach, please stay in there. Oh, here it is. The pass. The three ball from the corner. Boom! He knocks it down. Who is that? It's over now. That is. Pass to number 10 with the big one, 79, ties the tournament record of 79 points. Yeah, this, Heller knew this he tournament. only needed two points for the tie Yeah, the he knew it, and he passed it up. And here, for this combined most points in the game, nice pass to Heller as Heller is going to close it Take out. The three. three points. All right, Leroy, I need your headset. There it is. We're going to bring in most of Heller as the player of the game. Wow, what a game. There's your final, folks. 79-64, a score fest as JEC beats Heschel in our opening night of the 2019 Half Invitational Scott Satcher Memorial Basketball Tournament. 
That's a mouthful, and Ari, what an opening night as DRS uh, took care of North Shore. Right. Hafter took care of Shari Torah, and JEC, the underdog, I called it before the game, took care of business. Moshe. Hold on. Moshe Heller. Moshe Heller, welcome to the MVP booth. You are MVP. You get the custom yarmulke, the custom Hafter hat. You. Now, I listen. You can go back and listen, so I'm not making it up. I did say before the game that you guys were going to win. I knew that you would be True. the. Uh, I knew that you would have the lower seed, uh, you know, uh, victory. We, we, and, we, and that's because you guys are so quick. And uh, I knew you just matched up against Heschel, a team that likes to shoot a lot from the outside. Your defense in the first half was incredible. You know, you you know you had 27 points in the first half, right? I did not know. <laughs> well, you now you know. Yeah, 27 in the first half and two points shy of what we think is a tournament record. Right. You ended, you ended with uh, 35 points, and you probably could have had more, but you're unselfish as well. But we, we'd like to see. We, we got uh, some notes from Yeshiva League Pass, who's are covering this tournament, that you are a game-time decision. So we can only imagine you as a full-capacity full, full capacity player. But tell us about you know your mindset. This is obviously, we know you played Heschel twice. You split one. You won one. You lost one. But tell us about what was your game plan coming in and how you guys executed. Well, we started 0-4, so we knew coming into this game we're on a run. Uh, just to keep it going, keep shooting. They're in a man to man keep doing our thing, driving, setting screens, kicking out, shooting. Right, absolutely. Right. Timeout, late breaking, late breaking news, scoring change. He ended up with 37 tonight. Oh, oh you tied, tied the tournament record. Congratulations. Don't worry, you got many opportunities <laughs> to beat that. But also... Yeah, you've in the Yeshiva League, you guys are in some, some quite of a tear. You're yeah. running through opponents right now. As you mentioned, you started off 0-4, but you guys are probably a team no one wants to play right now. I mean, you have you are a phenomenal team. You guys play yeah. great. And also, interesting fact, in, in case you didn't know, your father is a famous singer. <laughs> Ira Heller, we had a lot you of JC fans. He's right yeah. here. Yeah, hold on. Let's bring him in. Let's bring him in. Uh, can he film? Yeah, do film. Just flip it around. Come here. We're going to bring Films every dad. game. Films every game. Hold on. Give, give me your now, headset one he, sec. Give hold on. Does your, does your, uh, yeah. Oh, now you got a film. There we right, go. Look at this. Hold on. Here we go. Mr. Heller, Mr. Heller, welcome to the booth. Welcome Congratulations. To the booth. Your Thank son, you very your much. sons were both incredible tonight. One uh, more than the other. He's the MVP sitting there. Now, first of all, we have seen you at this tournament for years, filming all your sons' games. Are you aware that all these tournament games are live streamed and you could save yourself the trouble. Not only that, Hafter has the best live streaming. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh. And I grew up in this neighborhood. I grew up in Woodmere. Oh, okay. So I'm very familiar now with this gym because I didn't have it. I had the little gym. Ah, okay, up. yes. But uh, yeah, but the live stream is tremendous. But I've been doing this since they've been on the little tykes. Yeah, filming unbelievable. Them. So you go back and watch the games? Yeah, I mean, I, we, we do. We have uh, a collection that, you know, I have to keep on getting bigger hard drives to keep. Oh, my God. That, that was phenomenal. And, I mean, we, we, we said. I mean, we just figured if we could save your elbow and, and your shoulder for, you know, three days, we do what we can, you know? Look, you know, we're going to make him work a little. Let, let him hold the film. Really. And also, we learned. I, I can't watch a game anymore without my arm up. But so, you have yeah. a lot of fans out there. I, fa I found out that you're a famous singer, and you, you sing um, the national anthems before every game. Will you sing during the championship night of JEC's in it, the, uh, the national anthem? Is that an official invitation? Yes, a very official. I officially accept. Yes, nice, excellent. Beautiful. You've made Ari's night. He might not sleep tonight now. All right, I am excited. But listen, much nachas. You have, hey, hold on, bring bring the other uh, Wait, Where's in. mom? Bring oh, mom. bring mom in. Let's go. Bring them all in. <laughs> Family affair. And this is grandma, The, by the grandmother. Way. Come in. Come in. Get, give the uh, the Thunder and, fan. And this, is, this is the uh, That's the a baby. younger one? That's a baby. Also oh, my player. gosh. We're going to be creator. dealing with him. He's a hockey player, basketball player. Basketball player. Basketball, well, basketball player. Basketball. So you get them all in? They're all all in. in. This is the Heller Mishbacha. This is unbelievable. We hope to see you guys here throughout the weekend. And uh, congratulations on a great game. And we look forward to our continued success. For me, it's a homecoming. What? For homecoming, that's right. <laughs> so enjoy. Hold on. Give, she needs a headset. Oh, grandma. Okay, Hold on, Grandma. grandma. Ari, this one's all you. I am so proud of the team, but my, my grandchildren in particular, they are playing with middles. They are gentlemen on the court. Absolutely. You know what? Extra yarmulkes, extra meadows for the whole family. Oh, we got another. Here we Make go. Sure he Thank you hat. so much. Thank oh, you. you already got one. Thank you. So that, that's a And wrap. Ari, you notice what she said first. She said, I'm so proud of the team first. <laughs> right. Absolutely. That's, you know what? It, it filters down the generation. Is that your mother or your wife's mother? Okay. Now, Moshe, uh, back, back to basketball for one second. We looked at the schedule. You guys by far have the toughest draw. I mean, by yeah. far. Uh, was that something that you guys were concerned with coming in? How do you, how do you deal with that? No, we're excited because it's a tournament, so 
best case scenario, we play good uh, games. Love this kid. This is so great. We're looking forward, and we took advantage of tonight. Right. All right. Well, listen, rest up. We hope you're, you're okay tomorrow so your, yeah, your right. game improves a little. So congratulations, and we'll, I, I think we'll see you back in this booth another time. Thank you. Congratulations, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with uh, the Heller family. We'll be here, and uh, we'll be here as well. So have a great night. And uh, we'll be back at uh, 1030 tomorrow. Morning. And as you can see, this gym is cleared out. And we're going to clear ourselves out, go home, get a little bit of sleep. First game tomorrow at 1030. Sometime later tonight, I will make sure that all of these games get moved over into the previous game section to allow our new games to come in. For Ari Wickes, for Suck, Jason Meyer, I am Jason Aaron. Thank you for joining us tonight, the entire Hafter AV squad. Uh, led by the great Benny Gross. We'll be back to... <laughs> Who's sleeping right now? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Benny? I told you, he comes, he goes. He All right. Oh, listen, we're not supposed to ask these kinds of questions. Right, right. We'll Benny. be back tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. All of our games broadcast live at HafterLive.com. See you tomorrow. <laughs>